All right, so today I wanted to 3D model the um the Rotom, the case. I like kind of drew up a little character and I think I'm going to change it a little bit from what I drew here. Let me go over to here so you can see. So this is what he looks like. This is what I drew. I think I'm going to make him less uh what's it called? Less stylized and more boxy. <laughs> Because uh, if he's so top heavy, he might fall over. And we're going to create a case for this mist maker. So I'm going to put this inside of that. If my finger doesn't disappear. So that will go inside of that. And then he's kind of, I made him do like a, oh my gosh, I'm broken pose. Um, So... Yeah, he's going to be broken, and then the mist is probably... I'm probably going to have the mist spew out of, like, the the front of where his door is, and maybe, like, behind his eyes. Maybe, maybe like, that, that rod that's in his head, maybe spew out on the side of that rod. Okay, how's our square looking? I think I do like the way I drew it, but hold on, let me get more references. So this is what he looks like in Pokemon Go. So he's more square than what I drew, so I'm probably going to make him a little more square. I'm going to keep that reference photo just hanging out there so it's easy to see. He is very chunky, yeah. I made him more like, wah, but yeah, I like this version better. We're going to copy this one a little more with the shape. And then let's try beveling it instead. That should evenly bevel everything. And then he's got two feet, but I don't I don't know how I'm gonna get him to stand on my desk with only two feet. So I might give him four feet. Like two in the front and two in the back. Cause yeah, he only has two little feet. But he's got two little pointy feet. So I'm like, how is he gonna stand on anything without falling over? <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't have four feet, but we're going to give him four feet. So let's go back to here. Let's grab a circle. Okay, we're going to take this circle here. Uh, oops. Get a face. Shrink it down a little. Okay, we need to select this whole thing. Extrude it down like so. That's a pretty good foot right? Let's see here. Maybe we could add a little subdivision. Let's see how it looks. Oh, wow. That looks horrible. That looks absolutely horrible. Maybe if I add... No, that made it worse. Okay, but maybe if I do this? Actually, that helped a lot. Maybe one more. That actually made it so much better. Oh my gosh, that looks so bad. Move it up here. I'm gonna add a mirror modifier. Get this. There we go. Now we got four foots. This is gonna be strange, but let's try this. Let's go to the top. We're gonna merge these at the center. So now we just have one little point here. And then I'm gonna go... And... I'm going to click on this middle center part, and then I'm going to... Oh, that's the wrong button. Control shift b And then we're going to go like this. We're going to go to loop tools, circle. Oh, that's not even. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter if it's even. Make this circle a little bigger. Why don't you... Haha! Extrude. Then we're gonna... Whoosh. It looks so small. Is it up to scale to fit the humidifier? To be honest, I don't know what, how big it is. I should measure it. After this, I was gonna export it to a CAD. Do some extra little modifications. And then from there, export it to a... Um, slicer. Thank you. Yes, slicer. Okay, we're going to scale this on here. Actually, let's add a face to this. There we go. His eyes are kind of like that. Grab. Wait. Oh, no! <gasps> Uh-oh. 
my program just froze. I haven't saved it at all. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a second. Oh! Wait, I have no idea why I did that. Oh, weird. Let's shade smooth it. I like how flat the eye is, but maybe it'll grow on me. Hey, okay, let's add a mirror modifier. This is the cutest washing machine. He is really cute. Okay, we're gonna go boop boop. I actually can't tell if that's even. Should make mine a little more chunky looking. Okay, so we're gonna have it open at this hinge right here. And then I'll have the... Or we'll have it open here at the black line. I'll have hinges on the back. Maybe if I add some eyes to him, I'll see if I like them. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, let's add another circle. Let's add some eyes and see how how we, how we like it. What do we think here? Maybe I should just do music? Now he needs a little mouth. He needs a little grin. It's coming together. It's coming together a bit. I feel like I could do a better job. Let's see. Let's add a cut here. Maybe a cut there and the cut here then we're gonna go to this line no sorry this line here proportional edit and then we'll bring it down a little okay this is what we got so far oh yeah okay we need to add the hose maybe i should fix his eyes like this eye part they pull it a little more like this I do like that a little more. Oh man, I'm really bummed out they don't have a single vert. But I guess I could just make a single vert. I'll just make one. There we go. Now we have our one vert. I can't lose it or <laughs> else. Okay, so let's see. Let's grab our one vert here. Then we'll just extrude it. Like this. Make this a little more round. <laughs> How long have I been 3D modeling for? Uh, not too long. I started... What was it? March? I started to try 3D modeling? Your brain has an insane amount of wrinkles. <laughs> that was the nicest compliment I've ever been told. Thank you. Let's see... It looks so creepy like this. What do you think? I don't know what's going on with his arms, but it, for some reason I just don't like them. But they are like correct, but they're weird. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better than it did. Okay, one thing I do need to do though actually before i finish this um i don't know maybe that inner part does need to be man the more i look at things i'm like oh i could change this i could change this but it's like it's it's never perfect i like the way he turned out i'm quite surprised um so this part i'm gonna 3d print separately and i'm just gonna kind of slip it on to him and then i might glue it in place i don't i don't know yet I don't know what we're gonna do with his arms yet. I'm happy though that we um we finished him in one day. I'll have to when I paint him, I might paint his eyes to look like this, like the distressed one. The ah <laughs> But I'm excited. I only have white filament, so I'll 3D print him in white and then we're gonna have to paint him orange. Do you have any other small projects like Rotom? So um I'm I'm trying to do more projects on stream because i used to do projects off of stream but i have done uh, some other things i'll show you i did some cat ear speakers that go on to your monitor so i'm gonna 3d print him and then we're gonna put a a mist machine inside of him i made this so this is like it's a little it's a phone charger so you have to plug it in oh at the top um but you plug it in but then i just set my phone on there and it wirelessly charges my phone 
So I do have this one um, that I made, and I made it look like my Shiba. The light's really bright. You can hardly tell. <laughs> and then these are the cat ear speakers, so... This is what the cat ear speakers look like, and they just go onto your monitor like, like this. So they kind of just hang onto your monitor like that. And then it looks like your your monitor has cute cat ears. I was do I made these because I had some speakers, but I had them behind because I have the really long monitor, you know, like the really long Samsung monitor, and my speakers were behind the monitor. So when I would listen to music, it was like muffled because it's behind the monitor, and I was so frustrated with it that I was like, I just want my speakers to be on top of my monitor. So I made these, but um. Someone gave me the idea to make Kirby speakers. So it's like, instead of a cat ear, it'll be like two Kirbys, or maybe like a Kirby and then a star on one side. I think that was a really cute idea. Someone gave me that, you that idea on YouTube, so maybe for the next project, after we finish this one, we can make like a cute Kirby, like inhaling, but then inside of his mouth is a speaker, and then it can go on top of your monitor. And then tomorrow, we'll 3D print this. But yeah, thank you! Goodbye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.